Hey folks, welcome back to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. This post, I'm gonna show you how to combine tone building with looping. And if you do this, I think you'll find that your practice becomes more fun and productive. Okay, say you're playing and learning the first quarter of any tune, we'll use Blackest Crow as an example. All right, so the, we're working on the first quarter. What you can do with tone building, the first practice I wanna go over, is make every single note sound a little bit better. Even just 10% better is great. So we start with the first note, and we use throwaway bow. So th that's the, the main tone building thing I teach people. All right, and then we play the second note, which is A1, also a throwaway bow. And if you need help making it sound better, another tone building technique is sabo. All right, so then we put those, we got those two notes to sound a little bit better. Awesome, now we put them together. Do they still sound as good? They might not, and that's okay. But if they both sound a little bit better together, then move on. So the next note would be A2 again. You can use the same tone building techniques. Then A, open A. So we have. And so the idea is as you add each note, you make each note sound good, then you add it to the whole and make sure the whole is sounding good. And then pay attention, what note in there is suffering? Maybe it's A1, and so you go back and do more work on A1. All right, and now to end this phrase, by the way, this is Black as Crow, I have a separate lesson on this and another lesson on how to add variation to it. So the last note in this phrase is D1. Let's just try that with throwaway bow with sabo, tremolo is another tone builder. I like to teach tremolo with a very light touch. So this is like a lightning effect. All right, now we have this whole piece. We check to see if that sounds good. Close. And then when you feel like it's gotten a little bit better, don't be a perfectionist, just like a little bit better, feeling a little bit better about it, then we use the next huge practice tool of looping. And we'll loop on this now. And on and on, you can do it slower, you can do it faster and just experiment. And all the while, your hands are getting the practice they need to learn this even more deeply. Your hands need more time than your brain. Your brain gets bored. So that's why we practice in different ways. Keep your brain a little bit interested, but keep playing and practicing it thousands of times if possible. So that's it. You combine these two things. You know what? If you do it just on the first quarter, you'll probably notice that the rest of the tune sounds a bit better, maybe 10% better. Now, so just that alone is super powerful, but if you really, really wanna make everything sound better, then you do this process on every part of the tune, and then for sure you'll notice a change, okay? And finally, I just wanna close by saying that if you do this, I think you'll enjoy your practice more because the sound will be better and you'll start to like feel good physically almost when you have that good sound and then emotionally and this will really encourage you to play again tomorrow to pick it up you'll be like oh god it sounded not bad yesterday i'm doing okay and so you'll want to play again the next day which is really what i hope you do i hope you just continue to play so anyway that's it just a practice tip uh, if you liked if you found this interesting i have a longer article on it in my philosophy blog, putting a link 
to that below. And I forget, there might be some audio for you to play along with. Anyhow, um, so cool. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe so we can see each other again. And thanks for watching. Okay, so long. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video club. Excellent. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.